Good morning, everybody. So we had a lot of storms come through Washington, D.C. last night, a lot of them. But there was a lot more hype than there was storm. And part of that hype was a lot of postings about they're messing with our weather to keep us from shining our light and telling our truth. And, you know, it's only going to get worse from here. Brace yourself. And you can certainly take on that perspective. It is your choice as the commander of this physical energetic avatar to go along with that. Or not. It's up to you. Now, many are coming up with a lot of dreams lately and um, trying to interpret them in their linear minds. So let me give you an example. So two weeks ago, I woke up laying on my left side. I was still half asleep. I felt something very heavy laying on my right leg. Um, I saw a snake was thinking of snake, red snake, super heavy on my left leg. I brushed it off, it fell on the floor. I leaned over energetically to look at it and all I could see was a red head, deep red, true red, mouth open, no teeth, just looking at me and disappeared. Well, my philosophy is spirit will tell me if there's something I need to pay attention to, but I don't need to try to dissect it. Spend a lot of time spinning my wheels, staying out of present moment. So fast forward, later that week, um, I was with my integrated structure um, massage cranial person on the table receiving a treatment. And uh, this person has a lot, a lot of shamanic experiences as I do. Uh, more so than I, they teach it. Um, and so I mentioned the red snake. And the question was, well, what is the meaning of the red snake to you? And I said, well, I could certainly be cliche. I could certainly say red means chakra, root, ground, earth. I said, but I'm not, because it might not be. And then the question was asked, well, Sandy, what does a snake do when it grows? And I said, it takes longer to cross the road. And after a chuckle or two, was no, Sandy, they shed. And I said, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of transformation, the shedding of the snake. I'm, I'm aware of the softness of the eyes and the skin and it's very slow moving in the beginning because it needs to acclimate and all that but I have no idea if that pertains to me and the red snake because that would be my logical old program mind trying to dissect and decipher something with my earthly linear brain and I don't want to go off of what I've been taught I want to go off of what I've been learning and what I've been shown directly from higher self, spirit guide, me of the divine creator being that I am. So we have a lot of things going on right now that are occurring and everybody wants to take a stand on one side or the other, one partial or full on programming descriptive of what is occurring when you really don't know you got a lot of people saying something you might read it in a lot of books you might assume history is repeating itself but if we're here as creator beings awakening to all of the all and that we know that we have the power to maneuver to change adapt create dissolve resolve forgive let go and be a loving creator beings, why would I fall into that trap? I can be aware of what's going on here on earth as I know it, 
in my decades of being here. I can understand things even more through my own personal experiences, not storytelling from someone else. But regardless of whether something is occurring to you and you're trying to dissect it with old programming or you're trying to release that and making the attempts to be in the present moment and decipher from there. This morning, I walked out to my car and right next to my car door, positioned in the perfect space, was a bunny, a baby bunny. I could give you a million gazillion things that I understand the bunny to be from old programming. It could just be that that bunny just found that grass around the energy that I place around my car. Maybe they just found that a comfortable spot to just rest, be safe, say good morning to me. Hmm. And as I took a picture, because it was just too damn adorable, and I walked towards it, it didn't move until I got pretty close, like two steps. And then it didn't scurry away like it was freaked. It just moved a little bit, moved a little bit, went under the car and I said, hey, I'm gonna be moving the car, so let's skedaddle out a little bit further, keep you safe. The more that you get involved with the evolving, the more you become aware that reactive old programming absolutely doesn't serve. And you begin to draw things to you and you're talking to them. Ants, for example, are in my kitchen right now. And I just say, hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to get back outside. Please don't get all my food. I'm tracking in all kinds of stuff from out there, in here, onto my food, onto my counter. I would prefer not to put out an ant trap. So I'm gonna ask you nicely if you'll skedaddle. You may see a little spider in your room because they're coming through windows and screens during different weathers, finding shelter. They're not there to bite you or hurt you or scare you. you. Can simply say, hey, I'm not real fond of seeing you. Tell you that right now. You can stay over there, but don't be coming over here. Because if you freak me out, I may start swatting and you may get hurt. Those are the kinds of things I say. But be careful of your energy and what you're attracting to it align that energy and ask for the highest lessons to be presented and that you are involved and evolved in the intention of the attention of your physical lane, your energetic lane, commander of it all, and that you can dialogue with grace and ease learning the lessons that present to you, for you, through you, and for the all so that you are ascending. You're getting wiser by filtering through all of this energy. Yeah. So be with that today. Don't get all tripped up. Don't get all trippy dippy up in there. Don't be greasing that hamster wheel so it just next thing you know your whole day is gone. There's just been a whole lot of shutter flutter and cray cray going on which creates that in your entire energetic body. Alright? Much love to each and every one of you. Understand that you are involved, evolved, loving, living light you to try to be with that. Let the sun shine in. Absorb that beautiful circulating vitamin D. Get that pineal gland, some light in that pineal gland. If I can help you on this journey, you know where I am. And please, please, right now, like, subscribe, and share.
leave me a comment. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.